When your client says, you can do anything, you want to my hair. Don't you just love it when your client comes in and you ask them what they want and they say, you know what, you can do anything you want to my hair today. Uh, that was what happened right here and I was feeling super creative and wanted to do something really colorful. Uh, first, Philip Wolf Hair came in with this wolf shear and we gave her this really beautiful bob. If you see there, it was just like that perfect line. And then I came in with my lightener and 30 volume, leaving about a quarter inch at the base. Um, I didn't use any plastic with the lightening process um, because I wanted to pull it through a little bit and get rid of a band. If you see there, we got a nice lift. And then I came in, I had no plan. I just started creating. Uh, I took really precise sections and I did a royal dark purple underneath and then a lighter violet. And then if you see on the left side, I did the royal purple shadow root and a lighter violet and I did a color melt there. I went and got some mesh and I had plastic saran wrap and then mesh separating. On the right side, I did a dark green and then I did a lighter green with some conditioner uh, blended with a neon yellow. If you see, I was feathering there. It was so important that I was super, super meticulous with this color. Um, also, when I rinsed, I used ice, ice cold water and I actually processed this for an hour and a half. Um, there you see my placement. I had no idea what it was going to look like. And then I started to realize it was kind of a combination between a Venus flytrap um, and Mardi Gras hair. Philip came in and really just did that precision there and came in and texturized to really show off my color to the best of its ability. Um, let me know what you think about this. Really coming in with this razor on the neck and then it was time for makeup. We wanted the makeup to perfectly match the color and you're gonna see it right here on Daisy. She's also a hairstylist, by the way, and a lovely person. What do you guys think? and I kind of brought this one upon myself. I put gelatin in my hair again, and honestly, I thought it would come out a lot easier this time, and it did not. Sam called me saying that some of our friends wanted to hang out, so I was like, oh crap, I need to get ready. My hair was not happy with me, and I also didn't want to put a ton of heat on my hair, so after I showered, I decided I was just gonna try and bring out some of my natural curls. I went in with some Wonder Curl Cream and some mousse as well, and did a lot of the scrunching, and then let my hair cook with this diffuser. I let it air dry a lot more this time, and honestly, I think it turned out a lot better. Didn't want to put a ton of makeup on my face, so I did a very glowy slash bronzy look. Almost like a little no makeup 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 routine then i took out my handy dandy flyaway stick check her out i've also been seeing this really cool hack where you can braid your hair without the elastics and i think it's so cute so i tried to do that this time you basically just like don't separate the pieces while you're braiding down so the bottom half of the braid kind of forms while you're doing the top half and then you kind of bring it through like a loop i don't know if that made any sense at all but you guys i was actually so obsessed with how my hair turned out and you wouldn't have been able to tell that i had gelatin in it like an hour earlier i think all right, you guys, I'm parked in front of the hair salon. I'm about to cut my hair again. And this time we're going for a mob wife. So we're gonna go in. I'm only gonna tell him I want the mob wife aesthetic and let's see what he does. Usually I like to give a little frame of reference of how I want it to look, but I trust him. So let's just let's just see what happens. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just a little bit nervous because my hair is already so short. And if he goes too short, then I'm literally screwed. But just like last time, we're gonna trust the process. Everything will be okay. You're gonna slay. All right, let's go. The way this man understood the assignment. This is literally the definition of mob wife. Like, are you kidding? The flowiness, the volume. This is giving everything it needed to give. Mob wife is the vibes all 2024. <laughs> And then look at the results these other girls are getting using the brush. So you already know that we're going to review it. And by the way, this is my hair with no products, air dried, natural curl pattern. What is it going to transform to? Okay, let's wet her up. Yeah, ahora sí, empezamos. Let's get into it. By the way, the product that I'm putting in my hair right now, Scala, okay? Now let's just like rake it through our hair because I'm gonna section my hair and then test out the brush. So they go like this. Oh, wow. Wait, usually I have to scrunch my hair. You guys see it in every video. You've seen all my reviews. I, I go like this. 
Yo le hago así para que, you know, the curls could like go like that, bounce. Is this better than the Devon brush? Okay, let's do let's do this side of the hair. I usually use the Felicia Leatherwood brush, and this is how my hair tends to look with the Felicia Leatherwood. And sometimes I also use the Tangle Teaser. I haven't been able to find a brush better than those two. It's this, this is so unique. I've never seen a brush that's done this right here. Mira, mira como está quedando el pelo. No, 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 y'all, y'all don't understand how selective I am with my brushes, so this is so freaking exciting. Let's put it all together. Look at what it's giving. Let's do the other side, and you already know that I'm gonna be back. Now, raise your hand if you're someone who doesn't like shrinkage and prefers length. Okay, yeah, me too. That's what I'm scared of with this. I think my hair is gonna look really short. I like length. The definition, she's gonna be there. She's gonna be there, no, no doubt. But how short is my hair gonna look? Let's diffuse her, I'll be right back. A moment of silence for the definition, please. Girl, I think this is the most defined that I've ever seen my curls, because why? Because brushes matter. But I also feel like my hair low-key looks short and I'm a length girly. So do I feel like if you're someone who cares about shrinkage, would I use the brush? I'm gonna let you decide. If you don't care about shrinkage and you're like, give me the definition. Oh, you're gonna get it with this brush. You're gonna get it, especially because there's no way, because of the rims, that you won't. Love the definition. I'm here for it. Let me know your thoughts. Now your baby daddy trying to follow me. Got him trying to swallow me. He can't get enough. He probably calling me bitch. And I never let up on the hoe. Get up in the booth and eat a beat up like some fucking toast. Make him bitches mad. I can stop calling while her nigga begging me to pull up to the spot. I'm not real playing shit. I'm playing on niggas talk. Watch him when you out in public. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh my god. I did it. What have I done? Okay, wait. This is bad. Let's reevaluate. I've been talking about cutting my hair for months now, and I've been too scared to do it, but we're gonna make it! I want to do this. I do. The good thing about having wavy hair is you can kind of just do this, and it's fine. Totally fine. Everything's fine. I missed. I already love it. I already love it. My boyfriend does not know that I'm doing this right now, uh, and he's gonna come home. No one knows I'm doing this. Okay, we'll fix up the back. I, I think I want it shorter than this. I do. I do want it shorter than this. I am shaking just to let you guys know. I needed a drastic change in my life, okay? Why do I love it already? I'm probably gonna end up cutting it shorter. I just know I'm going to. We're gonna go shorter, don't worry. James did tell me he didn't want me to cut my hair, but um, he's not here right now, so. These are professional hair cutting scissors, okay? Last time I cut my hair, it was with kid scissors, like craft scissors. So we've stepped it up a bit. I've had long hair for a while. I have been growing my hair out for a long time and it takes forever to grow, so it's probably gonna be short for a while, but I just, I'm okay with it. I think I'm okay with it. I want it shorter than this, like actually way shorter. I cannot wait to style it. I don't know what time everyone's coming home, which is why I'm kind of like in a rush. <laughs> I don't want anyone to walk in on me doing this. It's a surprise. We are strictly running off of coffee and manic energy only. That's a bit uneven. That's pretty uneven, yeah. It's so funny, it's like ripping off the bandaid. As soon as you cut the first piece, you're like, okay, I've done it. Like I've we're too far gone now to turn around so we just have to keep going now it's just kind of fun and shorter and shorter oh we're hacking it off now we're really just going for it we're not holding back today i'm so scared what james is gonna think ah. i know that people say that like short hair makes you look older but i swear i look older with long hair like i feel like it like weighs my face down it just makes me look like more like, don't get me wrong, I like my long hair. I think it's good, it's cute. I love the curls, the waves, whatever. Um, but it's just like, it kind of got old after a while. And the thing is, is like, I'm not the type of person that's gonna style my hair every day. Like, I'm gonna wake up and whatever my hair is that day is what my hair is that day. And I could make my hair look cute when it's long, but it's just like, I don't wanna use up my time and energy to do that. I just wanna, you know? Yeah, this is the length. Even shorter, I don't know, but for now. 
See, I was like questioning myself for months. I was like, is this a good decision? Am I gonna regret this? No regrets, absolutely no regrets. The only regret I have is that I didn't do this sooner. Actually, last time I cut my hair, my boyfriend cut it during quarantine and we posted on YouTube and Brad Mondo like reacted to it. And that video ended up going pretty viral. But I asked James to do it this time. I'm like, do you wanna cut my hair again? He's like, no, because he didn't want my hair short. So I had to take matters into my own hands and that's what we're doing. So if he's mad about it, you know, if he doesn't think it looks good, he probably would have done a better job because he's actually really good at cutting hair. I'm a Sagittarius. Like I, I just, I don't need to explain myself. You guys know. I still want it shorter. Okay, she's getting shorter. Oh, where did this long piece come from? This side is shorter than the other side. This was such a good idea. Oh my God. Like, are you kidding me? I love it. Okay, is that short enough for now? Yeah, I think that's short enough. For now, we might go shorter. did it. I think I'm having an adrenaline rush. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Here come the scissors. Here come the scissors. Oh, I, I keep missing. Okay, hello? Oh, the back. Yeah, we don't need to look at the back. I'm gonna have somebody Fix that later. Look at all the hair. Look at. Oh my god. That was on my head and now it's not. <laughs>